Pali huyu ni voma nungene la pona muselo. What's up YouTube? My name is Jay and welcome to part 5 of mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro. If you haven't watched part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, make sure you go back and watch them so that you you'll be follow will be following each other. Otherwise, some of the things you miss them here because this is basically a continuation of our previous videos. So for those of you that have been following me, uh let's get started. So just a recap. One we did setting up our cubase in redness for mixing and then part two we did something to do with configuration of our vocals and sending them to group channel tracks and then in part three we did levels balancing the levels of our mix and then we also added some plugins in uh, part four and then now in part five we're going to to our backing vocal. So if I play the lead vocal only, Pali huyu ni voma nungene la pona muselo. Cause she told me she love me and she give me love and affection. So that's what we got. That's what we achieved from our plugins that we had put earlier, which are our studio EQ, compressor, deesser, maximizer, mono delay, and our reverb here. So to start with our backing vocals, this is our group channel track for our lead vocals. So what I'll do is, first of all, I'm going to copy this, copy channel settings. Then I'll go to my backing vocals and paste these same settings here. So I'll paste the channel settings here. But the only thing that I'll do different for my backing vocals is that uh, I'll, I'm going to add some more reverb and a little bit uh, cut out some more of the from here. So let me just play backing vocals right now before I do anything. So I'll just mute our lead vocal, then just play the two of our backing vocals, left and right. She give me love and affection. So I'll just send this to our backing vocals. So I'll click on my backing vocal, then send it to this group. Just a reminder, it changed. Uh, so I'll send this to the backing vocals. So if I play this now, you observe here. Namo cero. She give me love and affection. I got no worries in my direction. All right, so that's it. So I'm going to click on group channel, then open it here. So what I'll do is add some more of the reverb by raising my mix here. So I'll take it to 20. Namo cero. She give me love and affection. So I can push it a little bit more. Maybe to 30. Namo cero. She give me love and affection. Okay, maybe there. Then I'm just going to switch on this. and just cut out some low ends a little bit more than the the lead vocal maybe and push it a little bit there then i'll raise this a bit and also raise this a bit Namo cero. Namo She give me love and affection. Okay, maybe to there. Then I'll just add some more reverb to this. So the mix, push it a little bit more. Namo cero. She give me love and affection. Okay, maybe two. Then I'll, I'm going to play this now. 
the lead vocal and the backing vocals. Let's just listen to how they sound. Cause she told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection. Let's play together with the instrumental now. Cause she told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection. Even when I'm lost, I got no worry, she my direction. Get love we die for you. I am a man on my way. I'm never gonna leave your side. So if you look at this point, it went to negative 2. So reduce this point. If you didn't watch the, the tutorial on levels, make sure you watch it and you see how we did this. How we balance the levels. So I think for me this is perfect. You can add some more of your taste. You can make it sound the way that you want. This is up to you. But just make sure you know the basics. You don't go beyond negative three, starting going close to zero and your instrumental at six and so on and so forth. So this is okay with me. So for mastering, um, there are a lot of ways in which you can master your mix. You can use T-Rex, a lot of things. You can export it and take it to FL Studio or you can actually master it from here. But uh, for this video, I think I'm just going to master with, uh, with T-Rex. And if you want to get T-Rex, make sure you follow me on Instagram, send me a message, and I'll be able to show you. So, we'll just highlight this and export this part. So, to export this, you, are, you export it to uh, as your web file. Then here, we'll just rename, just give it a different name. This is one. And then just click export Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that post notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also, 
ask me questions or tell me what you think I should post next. Peace out.